Hello students, today we will learn acceptance cone in optical fiber. As we know that the light beam which is refracted into the rarer cladding is responsible for the fiber loss. While the light beam which is reflected into the denser core does not contribute to the fiber loss. So in an optical fiber, when a light beam is incident on core cladding interface at an angle less than the critical angle, then a part of the beam is refracted into the rarer cladding and other part of the beam is reflected back into the denser core. Hence whenever the light beam is incident at core cladding interface at an angle less than the critical angle then they are always responsible for the fiber loss. On the other hand when a light beam is incident at core cladding interface at an angle equal to or greater than the critical angle then no refraction into the rarer cladding happens as such the entire beam will be totally reflected back into the denser core. Hence whenever a light beam is incident at core cladding interface at an angle equal to or greater than the critical angle then they will not contribute to any fiber loss. The angle which the incident beam makes at the core cladding interface depends on the angle of incidence which the incident beam makes at the core air interface. When an incident beam makes an angle theta a at the core air interface which is acceptance angle then the beam bends towards the normal is refracted into the core and is incident at core cladding interface at critical angle. In such a case the refracted beam will travel along the core cladding interface. For any light beam which makes angle of incidence lesser and lesser than acceptance angle and within the acceptance cone, the refracted beam into the denser core will bend more and more towards the normal, thereby the angle of incidence at core cladding interface will be greater and greater than the critical angle. Hence all the light beams which are within the acceptance cone will always make an angle of incidence at the core cladding interface which is greater than the critical angle and will not contribute to any fiber loss. On the other hand when a light beam is outside the acceptance cone makes an angle of incidence which is greater than the acceptance angle then the refracted beam will bend less towards the normal in the denser core. Hence the refracted beam will be incident at core cladding interface at an angle which is less than the critical angle and will be refracted into the rarer cladding. Hence all the light beams which are falling outside the accept acceptance cone will contribute to the fiber loss.